Hey what's up guys, BVHD here, back with another episode of Path to Perfection. I do believe this is the 15th episode of the series so far. Um, and like I mentioned in the previous episode, we do all go off and make a brand new team. We are playing the 3-5-2 formation here. And um, <clears throat> use this team now, it's quite good, um, quite a strong team. Got a lot of beast, uh, beastie players in it, um, by that I mean like... Like kind of like strong players can hold the hold other players off the ball. It's got a bit of everything. It's got a bit of pace in there on the wings. It's got a solid goalkeeper. Um, and you will see me picking up the players here. I do. I was looking at both of these Felipe Santanas because I was trying to get one. Well, I was trying to basically get one of them. Then I saw the other one going cheap, so I was thinking oh, I might be able to sell it on. Didn't actually manage to get it for the price. Didn't actually manage to get it at all. But I would have picked it up if I could have. <clears throat> anyway, we go pick up. Him and then a Boateng, who we've used in the previous, in, previously in one of our previous episodes uh, with the older squad, and he was quite a good player. So I decided to get him again, and I also decided to get the third defender, would be Bastuba. Um, not used him yet on the game. Well, I have used him now, but at this point I hadn't used him yet on the game, and he looked quite decent. Only 67 in pace, but he's playing the the holding centre backs, playing like the centre centre back role. Um, so I find you don't really need as much pace as the left centre back or the right centre back, because usually they're like obviously on the wings because they're on the outside, so they're trying to keep up with your pacey, your pacey players and uh, break them down. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of a Bundesliga, Premier League and uh, Liga BBVA hybrid. Um, so far, I've really liked it, like the squad, and. Um, <clears throat> we'll see how we can do with it. We are going to try and enter a few more tournaments because we've been playing the divisions. I think we'll finish off this division, win the title if we can, try and win the title, and then we'll head off into the tournament. But I really don't have good luck when I usually play tournaments. I always seem to get to the semis or the final and then lose. Um, I don't know what it is, but I think the pressure just gets to me or something. Um, as sad as that sounds. But uh, it's true, and um, we do pick up a bus gets here. We pick up quite a few players that are underrated, in my opinion, that are going, that are going quite cheap, like this Pedro. Um, I think he's a really underrated player in real life and in the game. Um, in real life, I really do rate him quite highly. I think he's a really good winger, and he doesn't ever get the credit he, that he deserves. And I think that is literally just because he plays for Barcelona. Um, there's obviously a, a lot of great players at that club, really standout players like your Messi's, David Villa, Iniesta, Xavi. So I don't think he really gets the recognition that he deserves to get. Um, not really got much to talk about in this episode because I am just showing you the team. But um, I think I think the series is going quite well at the moment. I'm enjoying it. Um, if you want to send any suggestions for future squads, any player or a certain league or anything like that, Leave in the comments down below because I do like to swap my teams quite regularly. Keep it nice and fresh. Um, I do tend to get bored of my teams quite easily as well. So you will see me every couple of games. Uh, when we go into the tournaments, it'll, I'll probably be able to go for one cycle. Go through one cycle of the tournament. And then I'll go off and sell the team unless I've really enjoyed it. And then I'll keep it. Um, but yeah, I've not really got much else to talk about. Uh, I didn't really think this through. If any of you guys are wondering when I when I stutter or anything like that, it's because I don't. A lot of YouTubers have like a script, not a script, but like write down notes and stuff um, before they do the commentaries. Whereas the only person I know that doesn't do that is Nepenthes. I think he's well, he's the only one I know, um, and I also don't do it. I just do it off the top of my head, just whatever comes into my head. I just talk about. So just to let you know, because a few people were asking, were asking, telling me to stop stutter so much when I first started this, and I haven't really addressed the situation um, <clears throat> until now. But like I said, we're going to pick up a few Barclays Premier League players. We do decide to go for the English, the English strikers that are Welbeck and Defoe. Um, I've used Welbeck on this game. Didn't wasn't too keen on him, but a lot of people are saying he's a good player and all that. So I thought I'd give him another go. You can just see there that that Jadson did sell if you just caught that. And um, the foe, I don't know, he just had really appealing stats. So I wanted to go out and try and get him. Um, get him into a team. And I'll let you know how he does. So far, he's been okay for me. He's been nothing special. But he's only like 1,500 coins. And he does have some really standout, good standout stats on his card. 
So I decided to go and try and use him. Um, I, don't, I really don't know what to talk about. If you guys are enjoying the series, a like is always appreciated. Um, it's really helping my channel grow. There's certain people out there which I probably won't... I'm not going to mention anyone's names because I will just forget you. I'll forget certain players if... Uh, people, I mean, sorry. Um, there's certain people on Twitter that have been helping me out. Give me... I wouldn't say shout-outs, but they've been watching my videos and they all never fail to like my videos and you know spread the word kind of thing on twitter so their followers can see it um i'm not going to mention anyone but you know who you are guys um so i appreciate that greatly if you're watching if, if you're watching this which i presume you will be because you tend to watch all of my videos um and always i really appreciate it at the moment i'm on 81 subscribers which is Amazing. It doesn't sound a lot to you guys that are watching. You probably won't think that's very much compared to your, the likes of the bigger YouTubers, which are on a hundred plus, hundred thousand plus subscribers. But a hundred. If I could get to a hundred by Christmas, that is my target. That's the target I set myself. Um, that's that'd be pretty insane. Um, but a lot of guys don't really think. You, I'm not expecting any of you guys to think that's a lot of subscribers because it doesn't sound as much. It doesn't sound like much uh, in comparison to the other YouTubers like I've already mentioned. But it would be crazy because I, I was expecting, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting, when I got to 35 subscribers, I was absolutely buzzing. I think it was 35. Um, I was buzzing. I was talking to my mates like, oh, I've got 35 subs and all this. And uh, it's pretty, it, was pretty ins it was pretty insane for me. Um, and yeah, so if we get to, if you could share this video with your friends, like it if you've got your YouTube link to your Twitter that really helped me out if you've got a decent amount of followers uh, if you like the video if you enjoy if you're enjoying the series and or just enjoying this video itself and here we'll go through the team now <clears throat> um, in there we've got Weinerfeller I think he is called from Dortmund centre backs Felipe Santana Bastuba and Boateng really strong defence there then I went for Shakiri Javi Martinez Javi Martinez sorry um, Busquets, as much as I don't really like him in real life, we got him there. Pedro, as I've already mentioned, the under, underrated player. Thiago, an attacking mid, because he is actually quite a good player on this game. Um, and he's very cheap as well. And then up front, we've got the English duo, which is Welbeck and Jermaine Defoe. You can see Jermaine Defoe's stats there. Standout stats, they're quite good. Um, everyone gets nine chemistry. <clears throat> I just need to apply a few, few fitness cards. For the next episode, we will get into the game. We will go in and win the championship. And, um, yeah, it'll be great. So if you could like the episode, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.